What about uh, if he has many warriors or only a few? That's right. So um, I, you know, I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, armor bearer was thinking at that point. You know, if he was just saying, well, uh, the son of the king <coughs> wants to go do a little reconnaissance mission. Because he's thinking, well, let's just check it out. Let's see what's over there, and then we'll come back and make a report and have a plan. And uh, yeah, and at some point, when the circumstances are right and we've got all the information we need, God can give us the victory. <coughs> Could be what he was thinking. I don't know. I mean, what would you think? If you've got more warriors over there than sands and sea, and your boss says to you, let's go over and check it out, God can give us the victory. Yeah, I think so too. I think he can give us the victory. So we'll go check it out, and we'll come back, and we'll make a plan, and when we get everything together that we need, then we're going to go over, and God's going to give us the victory. I mean, maybe it's what I would be thinking, but listen to the response. Do what you think is best, the youth replied. I'm with you completely. Whatever you decide. Wow. Anybody ever been in church leadership? <laughs> What an amazing right-hand man. You ever been in a, in a situation where God was prompting you to move ahead with something and you say to your fellows, your friends, the, the, the people in your company, the, the, the people that, that are supposed to be helping and assisting, and you say, boy, let's go check this out. Let's make this thing happen. And then what happens? Well, let's not be so hasty. Probably need to bring this to the church board. And then we'll discuss it. Then we'll table it. And next month we'll discuss it again. And then we'll need to gather some more information, so we'll table it. And before long, this person that's come to you in the church that's enthusiastic and passionate and is excited about doing something and has... has put their efforts somewhere else and, uh, and, uh, and that moment of inspiration that the Holy Spirit prompted is long gone and then we wonder what happened and why we're not experiencing church growth. 